Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about how you can support really intuitive children. And this kind of goes in for every psychic ability, intuition, claircognizant, clairvoyant, clairsensitive, all of those things. And this is a really great idea, but I will tell you a lot of these ideas also go into young adults or even other psychics because everybody kind of thinks like, oh, if you're clairvoyant, this is what you see. Or if you're clairsensitive, this is what happens. This You feel this. No, it is completely different. So I'm going to explain all of that and some ideas or hints and suggestions that will work well for no matter who you're trying to support along their psychic path. Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and I'm an intuitive psychic medium here in the Sugarland area that's just outside of Houston. So let's talk how to support a, a, a psychic child or a psychic person. So I will tell you kind of one of the things is usually children are more susceptible to all of the energies around us. They are the ones that kind of like don't have any protections, don't really have any barriers because they're used to the parents or the adults around them really providing that protection. So it's kind of like, we don't know how to deal with all of this. So this is just one of those, like, think about it. So um, one of the things I will say is very important um, is kind of just understanding that if they're bouncing off the walls, like if your child is like running around all over the store and you're kind of like all this chaotic energy, they're picking up on what's around them. So you're the one who has to teach them how to be in that energy or how to be out in public and not act like a crazy person all the time. So it's kind of one of those mm, interesting. Um, I will tell you it's opening up that communication early and communicate about things often, um, about how they feel about things, how did they feel about things, did they see something, did they hear something, um, did they get a message, do they see something coming up, do they see all of those things. And I will tell you this is kind of one of those like yes do this. Um, even if you're not the one who really hears all of this. So I'm going to give you some like five hints at the end of kind of like things to keep in mind when you work through all of this with somebody. But I will tell you, um, one of the best things to do is when you have a psychic child or a psychic young person around you, literally start with just having this open conversation with about things that are going on. What did they see? What did they feel? What did they hear? And I will tell you, grab a freaking notebook and start jotting it down. Put the date down and then start jotting it down. And if they're old enough to write it, you could talk about it first and then put it in there. But also, if you give them a comment, you can say like, we're going to put um, my comments in blue and you're going to write your comments in whatever color you like. And so they're having a difference between like, this is what I saw and this is what she felt about it or he felt about it. Um, so they have a place to kind of like write or report um, their vivid dreams. They can also, even as a child, like color in there to kind of like, that's what this looked like. Um, or this is the way I uh, like it looked to me in my dream, even though like we're not all artists, but it really does help. Um, also, if they start having um, like night terrors or anxiety attacks or something like that, really teaching them how to work through that energy. Um, I often tell my parents it's one of those like um, having an ener energy spray around you can be really helpful, but then also getting them out of that area, kind of getting them, pull them five or ten feet away. Uh, it's kind of like um, almost going to like go back to where it felt comfortable. So wherever that was for that child that they felt comfortable, go back to that area go back. Don't stay where it's all chaotic or like, oh my gosh, this is happening. Even if they have like a super vivid dream or a nightmare or like an anxiety attack or something like that, like go back to where they felt comfortable. And if they don't feel comfortable in the bed that they're in or the room that they're in, change them to another room or get them in, like into the living room for a little bit so they feel comfortable to talk about things. Um, also, if your kids have like instant mood changes, like everything is going along, all of a sudden, boom, everything is, they're having a panic attack or all of a sudden they are overwhelmed or they're just like crying, they're super sad. They walked into someone else's energy and you have to teach them how to walk through that or kind of get rid of all of it. So it's kind of one of those like, okay. Um, I will tell you, um, usually they always have like this really high compassion for animals, all animals. So, um, one of my clients took um, their daughter to a farm and it's one of those and someone else like 
patted the donkey on the bottom to kind of move out of their way and she started to cry and the mom was like I don't know what to you know say like she didn't see it she didn't hear it or anything else but it's like eventually she was able to get the child out of the area calm her down slow things down and kind of get into that energy of like um, what can we do or how can we fix this or how can we deal with this part once she was able to calm down a little bit then she was able to um, talk to her daughter about it and then her daughter was able to go and talk to the donkey I know it sounds amazing and talk to the donkey about it and the donkey was not upset so that calmed the daughter like instantly like boom I'm calmed down the donkey wasn't upset about it so why should I be upset about it um, I will tell you a lot of times like young children really connect to nature and this can be any like anything like myth mystical creatures um, fairies um, energy like that they can really connect in very easily and I will tell you they also really connect in very easily to moon energy so understanding what sign the moon is in um, what phase the moon is in is going to tell you how your child may react to things um, I will tell you one of the things that is most important to kind of keep and, and understand is that their hands are where they kind of take in most of their energy. Kids just touch and grab everything. They're constantly grabbing things. So when they do stuff like that, you got to kind of clean those out. Um, a great energy hand sanitizer is an amazing way to do that. So they're not like hanging on to all of this stuff. It makes it a lot easier. So kind of one of the things you have to understand is this child chose you as the parents or aunt or uncle or grandma or grandpa they chose you so you have to support them through this process that's your job in all of this they chose you to be a part of their life so it's part of it if you have psychic abilities and maybe mama doesn't doesn't maybe they have someone that they can talk to that can understand a little bit with it and this really helps they um, open them up and also makes them feel empowered uh, so many people that are older um, it's one of those when they told their parents it was kind of like I don't know how to do this or that's bad or it's sinful or whatever it is and now a days we're like opening up to that amazing energy so let's learn about five different ways that we can support kids in all of this one of them is listen without judgment listen to their stories um, as much as you can and write them in the book if they're too young um, or they can draw a picture that goes with it so you kind of almost are making like their own storybook over and over in a notebook kind of putting all of those things down um, use terminology that of like what that gift is and if you're like I don't know what that gift is do the research and say I'll get back to you um, and kind of making them feel like better about it not judging them like I don't that sounds weird or whatever else not everybody has the same um, abilities a clairvoyant could be someone who sees um, like ghost or someone who sees only angels and they may not ever match but then you have someone else who can see both it, there is no rhyme or reason to that part of it. Number two is kind of like really making them feel normal about what's going on and letting them know that um, not everybody feels things the same way, um, making them feel kind of normal with what's going on. And this is just part of who they are. They have to learn how to work through all of this energy. So it's kind of like you got to work through all of this. Um, and that can make things so much easier for them. Number three is kind of let them know that, that they're in control. If they feel overwhelmed, they can kind of give you a sign like I need to move out of this space so it's like okay take my hand and lead me to where you're gonna feel comfortable that can be a really important one so they feel like they're the ones that are comfortable if they don't feel like talking at that time say okay we're gonna mark this in our in our time and we're gonna talk about this later on that can be like yes now I'm in control and I get a chance to kind of think about it before I'm ready to share it um, I will tell you allowing um, uh, kids to feel safe with what's going on or secure with what's going on and their and their abilities um, This can be a very powerful tool of kind of like teaching them um, How to surround themselves with like white light protection protection sprays um, What are some of the, the things that they have that can work? Um, salt soaps help um, salt tubs help um, Doing hand scrubs all of that can kind of help alleviate some of that energy and I guarantee you It's really important because if you have a child that that doesn't know how to deal with it it can be overwhelming number five is kind of like oh my amazing one is tell them the truth if someone is asking you if one of them is saying like I saw this ghost and you can say I didn't see the ghost which is the truth and you can say but maybe I sensed the ghost I felt the energy from the ghost that's being truthful about it when you're not being truthful with what's going on around you or talking to them it's kind of really 
like they're feeling like I'm spilling my guts, but they're not telling me anything. And not everybody has the same psychic abilities. Not everybody has the same energy with this. So it's really important that you speak your truth. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.